All right, that's the last servo. Behold, the Mobile Omnidirectional Neutralization and Termination Eradicator, or Monty. <laughs> Featuring one articulated razor sharp killing saw, one polycarbonate grinding and flipping wheel, steel armor plate, exoskeleton top and bottom, and enough horsepower to drive 110 pounds of mechanized death from zero to holy crap in 4.8 seconds. Is it wrong to say I love our killer robot? As with my father, I both love and fear it. All right, enough chit chat. Let's destroy something. One, two, three, go! Okay, what should be first to taste the wrath of Monty? Maybe we should start small. How about the toaster oven? What did the toaster oven ever do to you? What did I ever do to Jimmy Mullins in the third grade? He still punched me in the face with my own fists. <laughs> Sorry, you little nerd. You were just in the wrong boys' room at the wrong time. Gentlemen, goggles. <laughs> yeah, this is an auspicious moment. Yeah, like Robert Oppenheimer or Neil Armstrong, we need the appropriate words to mark this historic scientific event. How about die, toaster, die? <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> uh... All right, what's next? No, I think I'm just gonna stay in tonight and do laundry. Oh yeah, this store got the full Monty. <laughs> Leonard? Uh-huh? What the hell? The killer robot, we built it. Yeah, well, it almost killed me. If it wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. <laughs> So, who exactly does it want to kill? I'm sorry, are you unaware of the upcoming Southern California Robot Fighting League Round Robin Invitational? <laughs> oh my god, that's Cripley's robot? As you can see, the Cripley is reducing the Chevy Cavalier to wobble. <laughs> nice little bot you've got here. I'm aware. <laughs> What's this do, spin? Yep. At 3,400 RPM, it can cut through steel like it was Wubba. <laughs> Neat. Good work. So we've got to call this off. No, Leonard. For years, merciless thugs like Kripke have made my life a series of painful noogies and humiliating wedgies and the insensitively named Indian burns. <laughs> Well, that stops now. But Sheldon, we don't have a chance. The only improvement you're able to make on the robot was to put fresh batteries in the remote. What you fail to realize is Kripke suffers from a fatal flaw, overconfidence from his robot's massive size and its overwhelming power. That's not overconfidence, that's observation. <laughs> Trust me, Kripke will fall easy prey to my psychological warfare, you observe. Kripke! <laughs> I would ask if your robot is prepared to meet its maker, but as you are its maker, clearly the two of you have met. What is his problem? Way to bust out the Jedi mind tricks, dude. I just want to make sure that we're all clear. Standard robotic fighting league rules apply. Are you crazy? This is a street fight. The street has no rules. He's right, Leonard. The paradigm is to the death. I will, however, give you the opportunity to concede my superiority now and offer me your robot as the spoils of war. Never. I'd rather see Monty dead than in your hands. That could be easily arranged. <laughs> Ready, set, go? Do it. All right, then. Ready, set, go. Sheldon, you got this. Indeed. We are prepared for anything he can throw at us. That's new.
so much for making up for the emotional wounds of childhood. I did this. Monty was killed by my hubris and my pride. No matter what anybody says, this is my fault. No one's arguing with you, dude. 